Welcome to the video showing Agilent's new RF circuit design and communications courseware solution. This is a complete out-of-box solution focusing on the teaching of RF circuit design, circuit characterization, and communication systems. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about the basic concepts included in this solution and show you a quick demonstration. First, this courseware was designed to enhance knowledge in a number of areas, from basic RF concepts, RF circuit design concepts, RF communication system concepts, characterization of RF circuits, usage of EDA tools, and simulation and building of RF circuits. The solution is targeted at three main areas in engineering, telecommunications engineering, RF circuit design and communications, RF microwave signal analysis. The RF solution kit is unique because it's an integrated curriculum. It includes teaching slides, training kits, instruments, and lab experiments. Everything is integrated to be an out-of-box solution. The teaching slides are in Microsoft PowerPoint format. The lab experiments are in Microsoft Word format. Let me show you a layout diagram of the setup of these experiments. The equipment starts with an N9310A RF signal generator, an N9320B RF spectrum analyzer, and an E5061A vector network analyzer. There's a transmitter and receiver unit and Genesis software on the PC. The RF signal generator is used as an input signal to our transmitter unit, and the spectrum analyzer and vector network analyzer are to measure the output signals on the receiver unit. Let me show you a brief video that will give you a better idea of how these tools can be used in your classroom. First of all, I'm gonna simply use the transmitter unit. I'm gonna input a 50 megahertz signal into the transmitter unit. We have on board a 818 megahertz frequency synthesizer. And you'll see as I hook up to the output of this board with the spectrum analyzer, there's an 868 megahertz signal. Now, let's take this step by step down the transmitter board. First, I'm going to look at the output of the mixer. As you'll see on the spectrum analyzer, there's an 868 megahertz signal at the output of the mixer. However, there are many mixer byproducts on this signal, and such we have to filter out and remove these unwanted signals. So the next stage is to move the spectrum analyzer to the output of the RF bandpass filter. And we can see that we've blocked many of the unwanted signals and we're left with an 868 megahertz signal at minus 23 dBm. Well, this is too low of a power level to transmit over the air, so we need to amplify it. So I move the spectrum analyzer to the output of the power amplifier section. And again, you see an 868 megahertz signal at minus six dBm. But there are other signals present. Now we're not allowed to transmit these signals over the air, therefore we need to do a final filtering stage to remove these unwanted signals. Now finally, let's transmit, let's put the antenna on the transmitter board, and then we can measure the output of the receiver board. And what you'll see is that after all the signal conditioning that we do, we get back to a 50 megahertz signal that comes out of the transmitter board. We've successfully recovered the signal transmitted and just showing you the very basic capabilities of the system. So besides the complete RF communication system, you can see that we can use the individual sections on this training kit to teach the students about circuit characterization through many, many exercises. If you'd like more information about this solution or other solutions from Agilent Technologies, please go to www.agilent.com slash find slash edu. This is Agilent's Educators Corner website. This is a one-stop solution resource for engineering educators and researchers. 
you will find other solution kits and curriculum solutions, and you will also find information that pertains to educators. Thank you for your time.